At sea level, atmospheric pressure is 100 kPa and a density of A is 1.3 kg per meter cube. Assume that the density of air decreases linearly. Oh, this is important. Decreases linearly with height. Hmm. That will be a clue later. Above sea level. What's the estimate of a total height of atmosphere based on this information? So imagine this way. If you are at sea level, means you have some water and you will have a column of air on top of you. So usually we kind of just use dotted lines to represent a column of air. And this column of air will exert a pressure on you. So hence, at sea level, you experience something pressing on you, which is all the column of air above of you. So what do we what do we know? 100 kilopascals at sea level. So that's down here. And the density of air rho, we kind of label it rho density, is 1.3. So how do we count the height of air, of air on top? We'll usually use H for this. What we might be tempted to do is to just straight away use our equation, P equals to rho GH. So why don't we try that and see? Hmm, just wondering. So there's a column of air pressing on top. So maybe that's 100 kilopascals. And density is 1.3. And then 9.81 times H. And we can find a H that is... About 7.8 km. And we might say, oh hey, answer's here, done. But hold up, this is not the correct answer. There is something wrong with our assumption here, something that I highlighted earlier. Density of air decreases linearly with height. Wait a second, wait, whoa, whoa. We use, when we use this row here, this is incorrect. Because if we use 1.3, that means throughout the whole air column, your density is 1.3 kg per meter cube. Throughout the whole thing. But that's not correct because we ju they just told us density decreases linearly with height. So we need to change this calculation a little bit because our assumption is not correct. So how do we deal with density? Density at sea level, at sea level is 1.3. So down here, it's 1.3. What about the top? I don't know, decreases linearly. I mean, if you think about it, on planet Earth, you go all the way out, eventually there'll be no more air, so zero density. So I guess you could say, once you reach outer space, the atmosphere, yeah, out of the atmosphere, that's zero density. So that'll be the height, total height of the atmosphere. So what we can do now is, think about this, um, air density decreases linearly. Uh. Well, how to draw? Well, linearly could be something like this. Density with height, maybe like this, you can assume that. So if you want to plug in here, you're going to use the average density instead because we're going to estimate, we're going to do an estimate. So what you can do is P equals to average density times G times H instead. Okay, so correction time, here's what we're going to do. We will not do that, we will cancel this and we say Hey, let's do this now. So at the bottom, you experience this amount of pressure. Density, we didn't do average, so that'll be 0 plus 1.3 divided by 2. Find the average, roughly, roughly, estimate. 9.1 and H. Here, we will find that H equals to 15.68 km. If you round that off to 2 SF, that will be 16 km. See the difference between both? If your air is, you assume it to be very dense all the way, then you only need a very short column and you get a really high pressure at the bottom. But if your air is getting light, less and less dense as you go up, then you need much taller column to press down on you to get that same kind of pressure at the bottom. So be very careful. This one is a particular trick. I think it appeared a few times, but make sure you know what to plug in for air density. Remember, we are estimating density is decreasing. So that's all for this question. Hope that was helpful. I will see you in the next one.